All right, so the first step is you got to take these covers off and you got to remove the uh, the top carrying handle. The top handle is held on with uh, some 10 millimeter bolts and then the side cover is held on with uh, Phillips screws and I'll show you how to pop them off. Right down in here. There's four, one in each hole up top. comes off. Then these side covers are held on with pins in the rubber grommets. They just pop off. Back cover screws off. Now the spark arrester. So loosen the clamp. We're just going to clean the carbon off of that. All right, now the spark arrester. You get it, grab it with some pliers. And that pulls out. There's a screen in there. We'll clean that off too. Now to get the oil out, it's a bit of a pain in the neck and it's a little messy. I don't know why they did it this way. A drain plug somewhere would be nice, but this motor doesn't have one. So you just take the, the fill off. Now I did run this engine a little bit before uh, I did this oil change, which is always a good idea to run the motor up warm get the oil out and circulate anything around inside the, the crankcase. Now we just dump it. The uh, handle mounting screw just fell out. There, there's a plate where the with the bolt threads in. Just make sure you don't lose those because you're going to need that to put the handle back on. Just going to tip it a little, get the rest of the oil out. It doesn't hold much. It only holds like a half a quart. So, comes out pretty quick. That's about it. Now if you want to get, there's a plug up here that you can pop out to get access to the spark plug. It's a little easier way to do it though. Once you have the handle off, if you uh, take the gas cap off, you can lift this straight off the top. And that will give you easier access to the spark plug. what size this is. It is not 5 8 13 16 maybe? Yep. I'm not sure what happened to the spark plug tool that came with this thing. So Regular socket will do. Ah, not bad. Not carboned up. I'm just going to put it back in. I'm not even going to bother cleaning it. There's nothing wrong with it. Back 
on. Top cover. Piece I dropped. This way. Okay. Acetone on the spark arrestor. It's pretty clean. Back in like that. Cover goes on. Tighten the clamp. Side cover. the uh, corners. Looks like there's an arrow indicating up. millimeter. Now we just got to put the oil back in it and, uh, and that's it. Okay now this thing is all set. All the covers are back on. The oil is drained out of it and I just thought of a good idea. Seeing how there was a hollow spot over here. Uh, I'm going to make up a little service record I'm going to stick it behind that cover. So next time when i got to take that cover off, I don't know if it'll hold up, if the rain might take it out, if it gets wet. But, uh, perfect. So yeah, the service record is in there. Uh, the other thing is I lost the funnel to put the oil in here. So I'm just using this uh, pump that I fill up uh, lower units for outboards and inboard outboards. I'm going to pump the oil in there. Take about a half a quart. It's going to take a while, but just like that. And when you uh, check the oil on these, you put this on a level surface, you stick the dipstick in, but you don't screw it in. You just touch it to the surface, then you pull it out, you see where your oil level is, and that's it. You don't screw it in and check it because if you do that, you're going to be lower. This is according to the, uh, the manual. And then you just put the cover back on and that's it. It's, uh, the service is all done. Okay, the oil's full. And all we got left is to put the cover on. And start it on up. 